one A. That is the secret to success. Many people often ask me about my early childhood. Well, when I was two, my mother married Matty Pavlova, my stepfather. Sadly, though, a couple months after they were married, he died. And my actual father left me and my mother when I was very young. So even at a young age, I knew what it was like to work. Even as we were very poor, along with many people in Russia, my mother always, always managed to get me something special for my birthday. So as that time of year came along, my mother presented me with an envelope. And in that envelope were two tickets to the ballet. I had never seen a ballet before, so when we arrived at the Marinsky Theater, I was amazed. The seats were covered in velvet, and there was a warm glow bouncing off the walls. My mother whispered to me, you're about to enter a fairy tale. And as the lights dimmed and the curtains opened to reveal a beautiful woman in a tutu, I was indeed entered into a fairy tale. Sleeping Beauty danced across the stage, making beautiful patterns with her feet. All I remember after that day is promising myself that I would become a ballerina. After that, I constantly danced. Hanging up the clothes, I danced. Dusting the laundry, I danced. And with any free time I had, I spent it dancing. Finally, after many tries, I got accepted into the Imperial Ballet School of Russia. I must admit, it was very hard work, but no one can arrive and be talented alone. Work transforms talent into genius. They told me I couldn't do it. Your legs are too scrawny, your feet are too weak. That's what they told me, but I proved them wrong. All I had to do was alter my point shoes. I put wood at the bottom of them to give me more stamina and stability. Finally, after I graduated from the Imperial Ballet School of Russia, I did my first performance at the Marinsky Theater. And after that, my, con my career just continued to grow. In 1907, I did my first tour in America. But it doesn't matter how many times I perform. My favorite piece will always be one choreographed just for me, the piece of the dying swan. I dance it to Saison's Carnival of the Animals. It's so beautiful and graceful, Words can't describe it, so I'll just show you some. Although, as I continued to grow older, so did my body, and I decided to take a little break. So I decided to travel to the Netherlands. Unfortunately, though, on the way there, the train I was taking got into, into a terrible accident. I had to wait outside in the cold for 12 hours in my nightgown. The cold crept into my skin and the snow bit at my legs. After that, I discovered a terrible cough. So I went to the doctors and they diagnosed me with pneumonia. They told me I could have an operation that would help me heal, but that I would never be able to dance again. And I told them that I would rather die dancing than spend a day without it. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'm still trying to recover. Now, is there any questions?